Hello, and thank you for viewing this presentation on Parker Hannafin's OSPE Ariga Systems Plus actuators. This presentation will focus specifically on one of the belt-driven electromechanical stages offered by the OSPE line, known as the OSPE-B, B standing for belt. The OSPE-B is the most price competitive belt drive within the OSPE family. Relative to the rest of the OSPE family, the standard series belt has low to moderate normal load and thrust capacity, but is capable of high speeds over long strokes. It is an ideal option for machine builders looking for an actuator for point-to-point -point moves. Let's review some of the basic design characteristics of the OSPE-B. The OSPE-B is composed of a moving carriage that is guided by two glider bushings within the aluminum body. The carriage is driven by a steel reinforced belt. This belt is typically driven by a gear head coupled to either a servo or stepper motor. Belt tension is adjusted via the tensioning station opposite the drive end of the actuator. A thin steel strip that rides up and through the carriage assembly maintains the actuator's IP54 rating. Lastly, there are three dovetail grooves within the body that provide a mounting platform for home and limit sensors. There are three bearing options available on the OSPEB. The standard glider bearing should be used for applications that only require thrust. For applications requiring guidance for a moment load, there are two different external guides that can be added to one of the dovetail grooves on the actuator body. First is the power slide. The power slide uses preloaded steel roller wheels for harsh environments. The second is the pro line. The pro line consists of aluminum roller bearings and should be used for applications which require high speeds. The OSPEB is available in three different profile sizes, with 25, 32, and 50. The OSPEB has thrust capacity ranging from 11 pounds with the OSPEB 25 all the way up to 96 pounds with the OSPEB 50. The base belt drive has a normal load capacity ranging from 36 pounds within the OSPE 25 all the way up to 191 pounds within the OSPE 50. By adding the pro line, this load capacity increases to 222 pounds within the OSPE 25 up to 805 pounds within the OSPE 50. Adding the power slide extends the load capacity even further from 267 pounds all the way up to 999 pounds within the OSPE 50. There are three different carriage options available to choose from for the OSPE B. The first of which is the standard single carriage option. The second is a tandem carriage option which uses two carriages that move in unison for higher normal load or moment load capacity. Lastly, there is an option for biparting carriages where the carriages move in opposing directions to one another. This actuator would be used in part clamping operations or in applications to open or close two wings of a door with a single actuator. When specifying order stroke, be sure to keep in mind the minimum suggested carriage spacing for optimum performance. Suggested values can be found on page 32 of the catalog. There are two different carriage mounting accessories which can be added to the OSPEB. First is a clevis mount for applications only providing thrusts that require compensation for misalignment. Second is the inversion mount. Using this mount allows the actuator to be rotated 180 degrees, protecting the band seal from any dirt or debris that might come into contact with the actuator. The OSPEB allows for the addition of several mounts end cap mounts that thread right into the end caps on either end, and profile mounts that clamp to the dovetail grooves on any of the three surfaces available. How many mounts should you use? Consult the OSPE catalog pages 46 and 47 to determine the maximum distance you can span. As a conservative rule of thumb, having to support every half meter should ensure adequate stiffness. All OSPEB actuators have a carriage mounted magnet that provide home and limit sensing. These switches are available as either PNP or MPN with either line lead or M8 connections. 
There are four different motor and gearhead mounting options available for the OSP EV. First of which being just a selected motor adapter flange. Second, including a mounted Parker motor. Third being a gearhead with selected mounting flange. And lastly, with gearhead and mounted Parker motor. Proper actuator sizing and selection can be made using EL Sizing, Parker's free mechanics sizing tool. Be sure to visit ParkerMotion.com for any other inquiries you might have into Parker's automation product.